Hi there, welcome back to Dukascopy TV. I'm Ben Jones. It's the start of another training week, so joining me on the line to discuss some of the key events coming up is Dr. Simon Baptist from the Economist Intelligence Unit. Now, Simon, it's a big week in terms of data for the UK. We have the inflation rate released tomorrow and then the unemployment rate the following day. Are you expecting any major changes in these two figures and what influence will they have on the economy? The economic data for the United Kingdom recently has been on a positive trend and we expect this to continue. Uh, of course, individual data series can have, uh, can have bumps in either direction, but the overall trend we expect will be for a uh, lowering of unemployment um, and continuing moderate inflation. Uh, part, uh, partly a surprise has been the extent to which inflation has remained uh, so low despite periodic uh, weakness in, in the UK currency, especially leading up to the, the Scottish referendum. Uh, but underlying price pressures in the UK economy do still remain modest. Uh, demand is certainly not pushing the economy uh, beyond capacity and so uh, not expecting any big changes there. Now, Wednesday also brings US retail sales data. The last release was extremely positive, reaching 5%. However, many are expecting a significant drop in this figure. What do you see happening? Retail sales in the US have been very volatile this year, uh, partly due to the uh, poor weather in the first quarter, leading to consumers uh, delaying some purchases and then making them again later in the year. So this kind of dynamic uh, will affect the annual pattern. So for this year, where more focused on looking at the annual figure uh, rather than the, um, the more high-frequency figures because we do expect a, a lot of volatility there. U.S. Con- consumption is, uh, like in the U.K., it is on a strengthening path, um, but there are some areas of weakness in the U.S. economy, uh, and external demand is not looking as strong as many expected earlier in the year, and that a fairly weak picture for exports uh, has the potential to feed through into retail sales as well. And the other dimension for retail sales in the US, of course, is the price of imports and with quantitative easing now coming to an end and the US dollar beginning to strengthen, uh, that's making imports a lot cheaper and that will be a boon for US consumers. And finally, we'll see the inflation rate figures released for the euro area this week. Do you think the figure can drop even lower than the previous 0.4%? Uh, yes, it certainly could. Um, I, I think this week for sure we'll see again a very low uh, rate of inflation in the Eurozone. Uh, the Eurozone really is at very high risk now of having a Japanese-style lost decade. And uh, the main reason for that is that fiscal policy is too tight in Northern Europe. Uh, with interest rates, basically, it's there's very little that monetary policy can do uh, to get inflation going. And I think the experience of the Bank of Japan uh, is very instructive here. Uh, the, the problem in the Eurozone is a lack of demand. Uh, monetary policy cannot fix that, uh, so it needs to be fiscal policy. But those countries that have got the ability to run more of a fiscal stimulus, such as Germany, are very against doing so, uh, whereas those places that would like to be more fiscally loose, uh, such as France or Italy, are... are not in such a strong position. Um, And so given that the politics of the Eurozone mean that uh, more spending in places like Germany is very unlikely, even though it's what is needed, um, demand will remain low. And so that's going to keep inflation very, very low. Simon, thank you once again for joining us today. That's all we have time for for this edition. Stay tuned to Dukascopy TV for the rest of the week, though, as we bring you plenty more updates and exclusive interviews. Bye for now.